Hey everybody. So this is an Asus Z790 Hero uh, with an Intel i9-13900K and a SOTAC RTX 4090. Uh, the SSD drives are two uh, Western G Digital 8 SN850X and with a G-Skill amount. So here you can see, for example, the, the thermals, uh, the sensors. We're using LM sensors here. Um, you can also see them here above. Uh, you can see the, the CPU temp, the, the graphics card temp. Uh, here you can see everything about the CPU and all the, the cores, basically. Here's the, the, the memory stats, that how the Ubuntu 2010 detected the whole thing. You can see the speed here. Um, basically all the things that you actually need to know about the speed, the, the default one, the actual running speed here. Uh, there's 128, so we're going to see four banks. Um, I'm guessing in theory here at the top, it, just, it says 256 uh, for the motherboard, but in reality, we got four banks of uh, uh, 32 gigabytes each of RAM. So in total, we have 128 for uh, virtualization, VMs, you know, rendering, all those things. Uh, here we can see the driver. Uh, so the NVIDIA uh, 4090 uh, with a fifth, um, NVIDIA um, 520 driver. The 523, it's about to be launched. It's going to have some uh, big, big bug fixing changes for the latest uh, 4090 in any latest hardware. So that's good. Here we can see everything about the motherboard. So you've got the, the hero there. It's already updated to the latest, latest uh, firmware, so that's good. And they're working with, uh, with to, to fix a couple other issues for Linux. And here you can, you can see all the cores. So basically, uh, yeah, if you run it like this, you can see that information like that. Okay, for the CPU. The, the basic one. And if we run the extended version, that we can see more information about the the actual uh, each of the cores. Remember, there's uh, the performance cores like here uh, are the top ones. You can see you can see that they have hyper threading. That that's why you see uh, two cores per CPU there. This is the the average right now that they're running in. Yeah, this this were the performance cores and the efficient cores are the one at the bottom. That don't have a hyper threading, so that's why you don't see two of each one. Mm. Let me see what else. Here's the the Nvidia. Uh, we're running 4K. It's it's detected properly, running at 144. So everything is neat. So there's no there's no big problems uh, running Ubuntu 2010. Uh, right now we're using the kernel 5.19, so uh, obviously with the 6 and 6.1 it has better um, uh, compatibility, but here you can actually see it right now with the default one, I can actually do a lot of modifications here without uh, issues, and even increment the, the fan speed. You really don't hear a lot, it's very, I mean, it's very silent compared to the 1080. For example, that I use. Codex here, awesome. Yeah, got this baby here. And I think that's pretty much it of working. We can show you here. Uh, you can see the temp going down. I think we can get it lower. Let's just go crazy here. Now I can hear it a little bit, but uh, I don't know if the mic is capturing the, the sound of the of the fans. Let's see if we can get it a little bit down. Well, yeah, this is to show you that the whole thing is just working. Obviously, I'm using the, the PPA, the NVIDIA PPA, 
so the the launchpad PPA there for NVIDIA. Um, you can actually go to Ask Ubuntu and look for me. That's one of the uh, points that I mentioned about the PPA there that can be used. So that's all the one that I'm using here. Yeah, and you can see that, that you can go even a little bit down. But it's, this is the average. This is the lowest, almost the lowest one that you can get it to. So I'm just going to... Um, disable this if it actually goes down a little bit more maybe mm, I think it will go down one more okay there we go so okay so I hope you liked the video and this will give you an idea on how the the, the hardware runs on Ubuntu thank you